You're so loud. Huh? You're so loud. Yeah! <laughs> okay. I can see his tail. Hi guys, my name is Melanie and my Instagram is at Melanie Morales and I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a new video on my YouTube channel and since I've been receiving a lot of compliments on my skin lately um, in person and over like social media and stuff I thought I would do a skincare um, style video so um, I want to share that with you because my skin's been doing particularly well lately like over the last like few months or so um, and I've tried a load of different um, like natural skincare things very minimalist I don't like the idea of using tons of chemicals on my skin so yeah I'll give you a little bit of history before we get started. I've never really had super problematic skin, but I have had a lot of trouble with like skin texture. So my skin um, texture was just not great. A lot of like sun damage I had. I did get acne at one point, not heaps, but like I would get the acne scars when I would get acne. So I had some acne scarring on my cheeks for a long time. And yeah, anyway, that, that seems to be my biggest issue. So as I transitioned into a plant-based and more minimal kind of lifestyle, I didn't want to be using tons of chemicals on my face. I didn't really see the point in using a eye makeup remover, makeup wipe, cleanser, toner, essence or whatever. Like, I mean, I respect those Korean women for doing that skincare routine, but it is just not for everyone. It is not for me. I don't have that kind of patience. So there were times when I wouldn't even remove my makeup just because I was too lazy to do all of that. So now I found a super easy way and I want to share that with you guys. I don't really get acne. Um, I do get like the odd spot, like around that time of the month. And I also get um, congested like pores. So I get like blackheads and stuff um, if I don't clean my skin. So I transitioned by starting to use coconut oil literally in everything. I use coconut in my hair, on my body, as toothpaste, makeup remover and cleanser, um, all of that kind of thing. And then I found that I was getting more um, blackheads around my nose than I would usually. Uh, I didn't experience any type of breakouts Fortunately, I know a lot of people do because it's very high um, on a comedogenic scale. So some people do get breakouts, some people don't have a problem with it. Um, I just got a little bit more like blackheads. That's pretty much it. So I love it and it's really great to travel with. You can use it for so many different things and I think I might use it in the future. But I ended up swapping coconut oil for a ton of different oils just to try different things. And I use different cleansers like oat um, and almond ground almond cleansers um, that I made myself and I you know bought ones and in the end this is the best uh, skincare routine for me. I haven't done tons of traveling in the last six months but when I have traveled I have traveled uh, with these items and I find they're very travel friendly and I've been loving them so let's just get to the point and I'll tell you about them. So I wear makeup most days uh, when I go to work and things like that. When I wear waterproof mascara, I do use an oil. So I use a couple of drops of this oil. This is just sweet almond oil, which I've just started using actually over the last couple of weeks. I haven't seen a huge dramatic change in my skin from using sweet almond oil. Um, I do prefer jojoba oil. I feel like jojoba oil works really, 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 really amazingly well on my skin. It hydrates, it makes my skin plump and radiant, but I've been using sweet almond oil for the moment because I just wanted to try something different. I ran out of my other one. I use a few drops of this on my eyes and just like break down my eye makeup uh, to make it come off. <laughs> and then I use a face halo. This is a face halo. I think Chloe Morello from YouTube has collaborated with Face Halo to like promote their brand. And that, that's great for her because it's truly an amazing product. I used to use a warm washcloth um, with like oil and it got really messy. Um, but this you just use with water and it does remove waterproof mascara okay. But I like to use the oil to break it down just to make sure I get all of it off. So then I just wet this and literally just rinse down my face and then I mean that I can leave it at that but I like to make sure my skin is super clean um, I love the idea of double cleansing so I then go in with my Dr. Bronner's soap 
Now, I've been using the tea tree one for a little while now. Um, as you can see, it's fairly new. I've used pretty much every scent and I think they're actually releasing, I got an email from um, the marketing team at Dr. Bronner's, they're actually releasing a new scent which they should be sending to me soon um, and I'm super excited about so I'll post on Instagram, again it's at Melanie Morales if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I love Dr. Bronner's so much, I've been using it since they contacted me, I think it was back like two years ago um, through Instagram and yeah I love it so much, I use it for everything. Um, it's the perfect travel item. You can use it as a body wash. I put two or three drops on my face and just like foam it and then like cleanse my face with it uh, morning and night. And I also use it to wash my hair. I don't use shampoo or conditioner anymore. I do like an oil treatment in my hair every once in a while just to keep it hydrated. I have it in all my hand pumps around the house. I use it for my dishes. I use it as a hand wash. I use it to wash clothes sometimes, especially while traveling. Um, I actually put a few drops on my face halo every night and like rinse off the makeup so I don't have to put it in the washing machine very often. I, I love this stuff. I use it for everything. And the tea tree one is supposed to help with breakouts and things like that. So far, I've noticed that I've been using this for about two weeks and I've noticed that my pores actually feel a lot cleaner. I get like little bumps on my arms and I pick at them and therefore I have scars. But actually since I've been using this I haven't gotten any new bumps so I do think if you use hot water this really does get into your pores and like clean out any bacteria. It's pure castile soap, it's made with hemp oil, the ingredients are super clean, it has crazy writing all over the bottle. You can also use this to uh, brush your teeth by the way which doesn't taste great. Um, but it does do a really good job at brushing your teeth just in case you run out of toothpaste while you're traveling. It's just fantastic. I do dilute this for a body wash because it is pretty strong. So this is what I use as a cleanser morning and night. And this soap actually, like even though it's liquid, even though it foams, it's not drying because it's made with a bunch of oils. And the tea tree one I've noticed does really improve the texture of your skin. So every morning when I have a hot shower, I turn the tap all the way to cold and make sure to get my face with the cold water so that it really closes up my pores and at night if I have a hot shower I'll just splash my face with some cold water so that I don't have to endure that terrible cold shower thing that I do. <laughs> That's like my toning type of um, situation to kind of close my pores and keep my skin looking really nice is to use cold water after you use hot water. Um, it really works. That's what I would recommend if you are um, having trouble with like enlarged pores or something like that and then to moisturize my skin because moisturizing is so important I've met so many people who don't moisturize and now they do because of me um, It's so important so important it will improve your skin elasticity and it will keep you looking young it repairs your skin So yes, I use an oil on my face to moisturize which some people think is pretty weird I've used a lot of oils even olive oil believe it or not, but I found that the best for me is jojoba oil, but for the moment I've been using sweet almond oil. And a huge, huge, huge tip that I have is to like rub the oil into your hands and then press the moisturizer into your skin. So press it in for like a few seconds and then move your hands around your face and just press the moisturizer in. Rubbing it will only skim the surface and then it will absorb into your hands whereas pressing it in will make sure that it penetrates your pores and hydrates your face really well. I have found that when I do this it actually makes my skin more hydrated and I don't have all of those dry patches. And then the last step to keeping your skin looking nice and healthy and youthful um, is to use a sunscreen. Now this one that I have here is actually a baby sunscreen, but it's the only one that I found that's SPF 30 and actually has really great ingredients. I think in here it only has like five or six ingredients. I don't want any nasty chemicals or anything, so if you're looking at a natural sunscreen, this one is really good. I found it on iHerb. I'll link it down below. I'll link all the products down below if you guys are interested. I do recommend a sunscreen. SPF is so important to protect your skin from the sun. So a few other tips that have helped me uh, with my skin a lot is obviously drink water. You hear that all the time. The more water you drink, the more plump your skin will look, the less dry patches. I'm pretty prone to dry patches when it's like cold or something. Drinking water really, really helps. So does exfoliating. I didn't mention that in my products because what I use is actually white sugar. I'm pretty sure you all know what sugar looks like, um, but I use white sugar or raw sugar and I make sure that it's organic. And I just use like the tiniest amount 
and like rub it on my face and remove dead skin skin cells. I don't travel with it because most Airbnbs and hotels and anywhere that you go will have sugar that you can use. And I've been using sugar for like the longest time and it actually really helps with um, acne scars. Another thing that really helps is that I've changed all of my makeup to natural uh, mineral makeup and that has made such a huge difference. I used to get breakouts on my cheeks a lot where I used to use blush and bronzer and highlight and all of these products that had tons of chemicals in them. So now I make sure that whatever goes on my skin, especially if I'm using it fairly often, is very natural and yeah. So another one is exercising and sweating. Whenever I sweat, my skin seems to be a little bit happier with me and just looks a little bit nicer in general. But it's good to like get all those toxins out of your pores through sweating. These products are actually pretty accessible as far as I'm aware around the world. They're very affordable and very interchangeable depending on your skin type. So if you have more sensitive skin, you can buy the Dr. Bronner's that uh, is unscented. I have pretty sensitive skin and this actually works okay on my skin. If you're more acne prone, you can use something a little bit lighter than this, like argan oil. That's pretty much all I have to say. All the links will be left down below. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other requests or anything like that, please leave me a message down below and I will make sure to get to those. And also remember to follow me on Instagram at Melanie Morales. And bye.